welcome back to the Buckeye State Well. Today we're going to do some more well fitting. And this is the first well fitting of 2024. And today we're going to be doing a lot of well fitting. Basically what we're doing is doing a whole day of well fitting. Starting off here at Vickers Junction with the Eastbound Manifest. With the DPU being used on the Intermodal bound for Chicago. Safe to say that we already been here and we already saw two trains. You can see the DPUs. One of them is AC44 Supercell, and one of them is a DC Gelo that is being used as DPU power for the Westbound and Immortal. They probably would not get a signal to go into it's Mega Yard, bad. which is airline, so they would just sit there until five minutes later they would get on a move. Another five minutes have passed, we get another eastbound. This one is also another manifest with some steel cut up front with the ET44 AA with the tier 4 GE Gbo taking the lead of this manifest. No DPU on this one.
like donkey balls. <laughs> I take that back. There was a weird GPU on that manifest. Another 10 minutes have passed. Get another eastbound. This one is a grain train with an EMD SD70 Ace leading in a Well Fargo Mac throwing second. Okay, this would basically be our fourth train here. And uh, we would only able to catch one more. Because we would go into another spot of mine that we would go to today. We would only be here at Vickers for the morning. But we only did see five trains in an hour. Which is pretty good action, I'd say. Right now we're in 35 minutes in like 40 to 45 minutes in of our fourth train of action here. It's usually pretty busy on the Chicago line in the morning. Till afternoon. This will be our last train here at Vickers. 
but not ending at the video we got a little bit of time and our time in this video is about 10 minutes so far safe to say that we only caught five trains here figures less than an hour that is pretty good action basically they're all eastbound besides this westbound that we've had going by let's get this last manifest NS is apparently getting into the almost 48 series of the AC44 C6Ms. They're into the middle of 47 right now, but if they get into the 48, ugh, that means they only got 800 AC44 C6Ms in their roster. Oh my goodness. C6Ms are so underrated. Especially the NS are only making them. Besides Web Tech and Fourth War. Okay. <laughs> if you have not seen this spot, this spot is basically Greenwich, Ohio. I'll give you guys a little preview of what this spot is basically is. Basically, if you have not seen my older videos, I basically posted a couple videos last year of Greenwich, but never did a really big well fitting video out of it. But that's what today's video is. We did a little bit of figures and then. Now here at Greenwich, M364 would go up to the Greenwich subdivision. M364 is an Avon, Indiana, all the way up to Southkirk, New York train. It's a daily manifest. It usually has a lot of leasers on it, like BNSF Executive Max or whatever leasers that they can haul. With the stretch of 364 and 332. Today, we would not get any leasers on either trains. Because 364 usually doesn't have any leasers. The most train that has the leasers is 332. But they would not have it today. We would see them later.
Okay, this is one of the trains that I don't usually see as much. Especially they are like basically a night one for Valstoria. Or that I just don't really focus it on this train. This is 635 from Selkirk, Columbus, Ohio. It's one of the trash trains that is a daily train every single day. It's not like the trash train that goes through Pennsylvania on the Pittsburgh district. Yeah, that one was pretty smelly. Not this one. M635 is not a smelly train. I didn't smell any bad smells on the trash train. This one. Sometimes it would have manifest, but a lot of this is just trash cars. I would thought the 635 would block the other signal. Basically, these signals here that are in Greenwood Sub are some old twilights that are still standing on the Greenwood Sub. Basically, some of the Twilights are basically on the Greenwich. A lot of these Twilights are still standing on the Greenwich. We would get another train coming. There's the end right there. We wouldn't get blocked by the 635. We would get an I-88. It's a daily intermodal from Lowe's Lake, Illinois to New Bergen, New Jersey. We would get this I-88 framing the tri-light on the green ridge.
368 is a Chicago to Falkirk, New York. He also worked Willard a little bit and then worked up to Cleveland. Anywho, I just decided to keep the cam put right there and get the camera angle with the curve. Which ended up turning good. But we would have another eastbound behind 368 that would be another great curve shot that I would do. IO-10 is basically one of the hot shots in a model from Bedford Park, Illinois to basically Fort New York, New Jersey. So he's still got a long way to go until he gets to his final destination. I say he hauled basically everything that needs to go out to Fort New York. He has three engines up front, he usually he has two. Sometimes he has one in up front and then has one in the rear or middle. That's sometimes that was like the beginning of the year of 2023, but now they've been having a couple units up front and no DPU. Well, right after Isles 10 came by, we do have another westbound on the Greenwich subdivision. This one is I-1 
57 for North Baltimore from Port Newark, New Jersey. This ain't the hot shot, but he's going to North Baltimore for for the Enomoto facility in North Baltimore. There would end up being a rebuild Mac. Not the player Mac, but the normal Mac. Trailing second on the Zeta model. It would haul a lot of prime containers on this one. 157 Houston and Knight won through this area. Depending on clues, there's been a lot of clues been out and not wanting trains. But that's what's PSR for you, y'all. One thirty seven is one of the Bedford Parks and a noise and a models from the Newcastle subdivision. I was given heads up on the Newcastle subdivision Facebook group that one thirty seven would hit westbound and since it wasn't that windy and not too much snowing, I decided to get the drone out and I did pretty good on the painting. I got it out too late, so that's the reason why I got it out. Video it not right now. Anywho, it had a line two AC44 leading. Not too many line twos are coming running out anymore. A lot of them are going into rebuild, especially the line three.
Okay, this was unexpected to catch. Back in 2021, I caught the Wheeling of Lake Erie, but for some reason, I would thought we wouldn't get any Wheeling of Lake Erie here in Greenwich. I was wrong. We would get the Wheeling of Lake Erie heading towards Lima, Ohio. He's not going on to the Willard. He's going on to the Monk Victory subdivision. But the eight locomotives that we're going to see on the Wheeling of Lake Erie are two ton of motors. One XUP and the other one is Will Grand. Well, if you can almost see, I've seen it. You probably, you guys probably cannot see it. But it had a lady conductor just being on this way to Lake Erie. Although they were hauling it from milepost 47.1 on the Greenwich to here. 58, something like that. Anywho. It's just cool to see Willie in the Lake Erie. I just got thrown out with the perfect time getting the Willie in the Lake Erie. Like following them to the one of the crossings that I had across before getting to the spot today. We would end up getting another train from the Newcastle subdivision. This one is a ROS train, which is M215 from Cumberland to Wayne, Michigan. There will be a 214, but it does not come in out of Wayne anymore. It comes out of Walbridge. M209 basically takes that job from Wayne, Michigan all the way down to Baldwin. But we're not focusing on that train. We're focusing on 215 or whatever trains that we can catch. It's almost about to be the end of the day here at Greenwich. I had so much fun here at Greenwich today. Saw so many good action. Especially catching the wind of Lake Erie.
Well, <laughs> we're still here at Greenwood. One of my buddies left. And we're ending up catching another train from the Newcastle subdivision. So we would get three more trains. This is one of them. <laughs> it would almost be a three-way meet if it actually did happen. But I will explain that in a minute. Or later. However, we're going to get this last train from the Newcastle. 135. If it's another 135, I would thought it would be 137. But after checking the group chat with the Newcastle subdivision, it's another 135. Making my way to the closet.
Okay, where did this train came from? Nah, I'm joking. I knew this wasn't coming the whole time. This is basically M332 from Avon, Ohio to Cleveland, Maryland. It's a daily intermodal and big straight train. They usually do have intermodal up front and then some ROX in the middle and then freight. So, that's usually what this train is usually be. This is actually our second train, but then I checked the my other way. I checked the Greenwood sub. There is another train coming, so I would have no clue on what this one would be that we got coming. Alrighty, <laughs> this will be our third and last train. I almost had a three-way meet. Especially we had another 135 went by. Same thing with M332. And then now IO17. IO17 is a Wilchester, Massachusetts, all the way to Bedford Park in the north. Luckily, it didn't have anything special. Otherwise, I did not take pictures. I didn't almost the three trains that we've gotten for the last time here in Greenwich. I will say this, I would have to go back home after this one, because not only than that, we have an hour and a half back home. Thank you very much for watching this video here at Greenwich and a little bit at Figure Junction. This is Will Finlet. I will see y'all in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Well as soon as next time.